In this video, I'm going to show you what I consider to be the four main piano styles of Paul McCartney, and all the examples are from the Beatles era. The first one is what I'm going to call the slow rock style. This is heard in songs like Hey Jude and Let It Be. In Hey Jude, it sounds like this. In Let It Be, it sounds like this. But the basic idea is always the same. It's right hand with a chord and then left hand with the bass note of that chord. And then it's every other one. Now, the only difference is on the very first note, both come together like this. Both bass and right hand come together like this. And then after that, you've got the bass and then right hand, bass, right hand for the count of one and two and three and four and so it's like this one and two and three and four and now in the climb down of hey jude you have the bass doing this So you play the lower bass note and then you hold it while you play the upper one and then climbing down. But the right hand is pretty much the same. In Let It Be, it's slightly different because the bass line is busier. It's more of an octave bass line. We're starting with the lower part of the bass and moving to a higher bass note. But as you can see, the right hand is just keeping those very steady beats. Just on the one, two, three four one two three four the next style i want to deal with is heard on lady madonna and martha my dear now these songs mightn't sound very similar but in fact they use the same basic idea you have this busy bass like this and in martha my dear it's this And sometimes you have the octaves playing together, but basically you have this alternating bass line in both songs, which keeps the whole thing rocking along. And then in the right hand, you have syncopation against that. In the case of Lady Madonna. So a syncopation is when something is against the main beat. You have beats that are pushing, a rhythm that is pushing against the main beat. So you have a very solid left hand and then the right hand is pushing against that like this. So it's not on all the main beats, it's pushing against it. And the same then with Martha My Dear. Do you see how it's uh, pushing against it there? And then you have, as I say, these octaves. The other part of Lady Madonna is this high note here that's actually making it thicker. And notice that the melody is going down in the right hand while it's going up in the left. Mm -hmm. 
And then the middle bit of Lady Madonna has the same walking bass line like this. And in the right hand you've got these syncopated chords. The third style we're going to look at, this musical idea. Good examples of this are When I'm 64 and Honey Pie. So When I'm 64, originally it's in C, but it's sped up on the record, a semitone. So Paul McCartney could sound younger and it sounds like this. When I get older. And the whole idea is that you have a very constant right hand. And then the left hand is like a tuba. Staccato. And that's pretty much the whole way through the song. And then in Honey Pie, it sounds like this. Honey Pie. Same idea, constant right hand, and then tuba-like bass. The last style we're going to look at is what I like to call the romantic style. And this is heard in The Long and Winding Road. And The Long and Winding Road is quite unique. There isn't another Beatles song like this where Paul uses this style. But it's very distinctive. A lot of seventh chords, a lot of slash chords going on. This, this is an eleventh chord, this is a B flat eleventh. B flat seven. That's actually an A flat major nine. G minor seven. And you have a little riff like this, F minor 7, again the 11th, and then E flat 11th, which is basically a D flat over E flat. And then in the middle, I love this, it's E flat over B flat, another slash chord. G minor 7, F minor 7. So I hope you got something from that. Good luck with the playing. And if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, follow. And if you feel like it, drop me a little tip on Super Thanks. Thank you.